Hi traders and welcome to our technical video update for this Tuesday. I hope you're having a great week. We're going to focus on two currency pairs this morning, the Aussie dollar against the US dollar and the Kiwi dollar against the US dollar because there are some wave formations and some things to look out for here that I think are worth noting. We saw the Aussie dollar uh, over the last few days, Friday and Monday, particularly a little high here against the US dollar. And what we've seen here through the course of early September and towards the middle of September is the Aussie dollar came down here and made a monthly low down here on around about, what was this date here? This was the uh, 13th of September. What we've seen then is the Aussie dollar move higher on the back of higher commodity prices and some weakness into the US dollar leading into the Fed statement this coming Thursday. This very deep low here on the awesome oscillator, at this point in time, we must consider this to be wave number three. This move back up here with this zigzag formation is wave number four. And interesting here, we've seen wave number four come up and hit its head on the 200 EMA on the four hour chart. We've got our 50 below the 200, which we need to be looking for any short positions. So I would anticipate at this point in time, based on the four hour chart, if we see consecutive closes underneath this 50 uh, EMA here, then we may be about to move back lower into wave number five. Now, if I use an Fibonacci expansion ruler here, what we're going to see is this Fibonacci expansion rule is going to show us a 61.8% level here. And this is at the pricing level of about 73.90 and then 100% expansion down at 72.80. So at this stage, if you were looking to short the Aussie dollar against the US dollar, I'm going to recommend you look at two things. First of all, I'm going to recommend that the Aussie dollar gets underneath this 50 EMA on the four hour chart. And also you keep a close eye also on the daily chart because the Aussie dollar right now is not trading underneath the 200 EMA on the daily. It's actually above and it's been sitting for the last week between the 50 and the 200 here. It's been range bound between the 50 and the 200 for the past week. Now, I would anticipate if we got a close on the daily chart underneath this 200 EMA with the formation we're seeing here on the four hour chart with a potential wave setup, I would anticipate that if we get a close on the daily, which would have to mean the price be down here, there's a very good chance in my book that we could see the Aussie dollar trade back down here to the 100% expansion. So keep an eye on that. Two things. Get the Aussie dollar underneath this 50 EMA first and make sure you're very well aware of this support level the Aussie dollar has been bouncing off, which is the 200 EMA here. But I do think with the formation we're seeing on the four hour chart and the likelihood of later in the week, don't rush into this position. Consider that any follow through on any currency market this week is likely going to need the statement from the Fed and the Bank of Japan to really get some follow through. So that might mean using perhaps a pending order down under these lows, which would be underneath where we are on the daily chart here. And then we may see that follow through back down to the 100% level. I'm anticipating the US dollar to gain strength between now and the end of the year. Okay, now we're going to have a look at the Kiwi dollar. And the Kiwi dollar is another currency pair at the moment that has been getting some strength around these EMAs. And you can see here last week, there's a picket fence lining up here. Last week on the daily chart here, we're looking at. So we're well above the 50 and the 200 here. Unlike the Aussie dollar, it's much closer to the 200. The Kiwi dollar against the US dollar is higher on these moving averages simply because of that yield that the, the Reserve Bank of New Zealand offers. So there's no particular wave formation here we need to concern ourselves with on the daily chart. Keep an eye on these two levels here. If we get underneath this 50 EMA on Thursday or Friday after the Fed statement, there's a reasonable chance we may trade back towards. So if we look, use this trend line here, 
from this low here up through here. If we get underneath this 50, this trend line and the 50, there's a pretty good chance we may trade back down to this low here in price, which would be just above this 200. So if we look at this from a how many pips is that? We're looking at about, about you know two and a bit cents here, a couple of hundred pips on the daily chart. Keep an eye on that. Keep an eye on that 50 EMA because that will act as a likely area of some support. If we go down to the four hour chart now and scrunch our charts up a little bit here, what we're gonna see is we've got the same formation happening from a wave count perspective on the four hour chart. But what we don't have here is we don't have the 50 EMA underneath the 200. Look here, it's been well above here for the best part of August and September. But if we do see that sneak under the 200, that so the 50 underneath the 200 on the four hour chart, then we're gonna have some genuine weakness on the Kiwi dollar. If you're looking to short the Kiwi against the US dollar, I would strongly recommend that you see this 50 here underneath the 200 and price definitively close underneath this trend line and this 200 EMA on the four hour chart. And if we scrunch our charts up here, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about here. If we can get the price back under this level here, somewhere down around here, then we're likely gonna see potentially some weakness back down to this low of 69.50. Now that, again, I've got to continue to remind you this week, is probably not gonna happen unless we get some guidance from the Fed or the Bank of Japan, and that will really get markets moving. So keep an eye on those levels on the Kiwi dollar against the US dollar and the Aussie dollar against the US dollar. In a Wednesday night's live training, we're gonna be going over both of these currency pairs in detail. So make sure you join me for that seven o'clock tomorrow night. Until then, don't hesitate to watch this technical update again. If you've got any questions, make sure you contact us here at Go Markets. Have a great day.